Hey guys, you're welcome again to my channel. My name is Torira. Today's video is very special. You know, it's the end of the year, it's the festive season. A lot of people are going to want to stay over at your place. You're going to have lots of overnight guests. So I'm going to show you how to transform that extra space in your house, which is your living room, into a beautiful bedroom, a comfortable bedroom for your guests. If this sounds like something you're interested in, keep on watching. Wait, don't forget to subscribe. Now, a lot of people don't have the luxury of having a really big space. And most of the time when guests come, you just plop them up on the sofa. But I'm going to show you how to make it extra comfortable. Now, we have a sofa bed, but just in case you don't have a sofa bed and all you have is a blow up mattress, these tips will work as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take everything off your sofa. I'm taking away my throw pillows and I'm trying to transform this into the bed. Now, it transforms very easily into a bed. This sofa bed is by Mate.com. It was really affordable. <laughs> and then my husband bought it, by the way. <laughs> because he's a cheapskate like me and then i moved the side table to the side now i already store bedding and everything for guests in the storage compartment on the sofa bed so the first thing that you do is to use the bed pad now you don't want any bodily fluids don't tell them i said that <laughs> or any spills to affect your sofa. So to improve the life of your sofa, you want to get a mattress pad, a regular mattress pad, and it also makes it extra comfortable. The next thing is a fitted sheet. Now, I'm not trying to teach you how to lay a bed. I know you know how to lay a bed, but I'm just mentioning this for emphasis. And then I put a really comfortable duvet and it's really warm. Once you go under it, you're not going to get cold. And I know that it will be really comfortable for the guests. And so once I'm done, you know, laying it and making, making sure that everything is tucked in right, I shove it against the wall or move it to the wall just so that it creates, you know, a bit of balance for them because it's better than just being right in the middle of the room. And then I put the pillows and that's it. So I tuck everything in, make it look neat, nothing too um difficult and then i take the side table which is for the sofa and i put it by the side of the bed now everybody wants a nice side table you know by the side of the bed so it kind of replicates a bedroom and i put some water you know flowers if you have fresh flowers that would be really great and i put a box of tissue by the way that was regular tissue i just covered it with contact paper just so it looks fancy and then i put that there because your guests are going to want these things but they might not want to you know bug you or anything and then the next thing I do is to close my curtains because you want to create a really relaxing environment for them. Not too much light, you know, let them sleep comfortably. <laughs> and now to the part that I really like. Here you want to create a welcome basket. I love this because your guests might not want to bug you. They might want to snack in the middle of the night. So create something that they can snack on, nibble on without having to bug you or go into your fridge. The next thing you're going to create is a welcome basket. A lot of times when guests come over or when they're sleeping over, they forget the very little thing. So I put a towel, mirror, you know, shower gel, body lotion, um, just a lot of different things. If you want a list, you can go on my blog. I'll have a list of everything that I put on this um, in this video on there as well. So, you know, toothbrushes. Just think of things that you normally forget when you go to a person's house. Even a new pair of panties, like if you, if you wish. Like anything that you know is going to make your guests comfortable. Just put it there. Make sure that they're comfortable. Shower caps, lip balm, things that they might not want to ask you for. And also don't forget to put your Wi-Fi password because, you know, just so that everything is there for them. And that's it. That's my welcome basket. It's really easy. Put it off to the side. And that's it, guys. Like, this is it. If someone welcomed me like that, even if I was sleeping in their, in their living room, I wouldn't feel bad. I would feel very comfortable and probably land on the bed like this. <laughs> I really hope you found some inspiration to turn your living space or extra room in your house to a comfortable space for your guests to stay over. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload a new video. Bye guys!